it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Okay then, system review time. I use the word system loosely. Um, what are we going to call this? Orb Gaming Retro TV Games. Over 200 games. Plugs directly into your TV. Mm. What has it got on the back? Stuff. I can't be bothered to read it. A thumbs up brand. Yeah. I don't know about that. Thumb up their ass, I reckon. Um, there are probably a billion and one reviews of this on Tinterwebs already because this has been around a little while. I was given this about a year ago um, and I, I didn't even bother to review it because I thought who cares but you know uh, I have changed my mind and decided I will review it um there is it's actually it's got considering the size it's got a bit of weight to it which I find pleasing um, it is tiny and that is the most interesting thing about it it is tiny it feels it actually doesn't feel like an absolute abomination you know it's not um it, it, it's not going to blow away in a slight breeze We've got a battery compartment in there i can't remember what kind of batteries it takes warning choking hazard because it is so small a child could swallow that if they were completely um well a child really yeah um I can't remember what the batteries are. They might be AAA looking at the size of that, but whatever. You've got a little joystick, which I kind of like. It's it's clicky in a kind of cheap joysticky clicky kind of way. You've got a reset button, a start button. They're kind of horrible and small, but you're not going to use them a lot. And an A and B button, which are all right. On and off, A, V out. There's a hole. Who knows what that's for? I don't. Nothing else to say about it, physically speaking. It's small. My hands aren't especially big. So, uh, to actually use... The, the ergonomics of it actually are a bit... Mm, it would be better with a D-pad. You, your inclination is to hold it like this, and doing that, a D-pad is actually better. The joystick I want to hold like that. But that doesn't work if I'm going to operate these with my thumb. So, mm, but you know, it is what it is. With it, in the box, you get a piece of C3 plastic and an AV cable, which is longer than the AV cable that came with that um, GBA Famiclone thingamajig that I reviewed a couple of days ago. So that's good. Um... Let's plug this into the telly and cry, probably. Okay then, we have plugged it in and turned it on. And what have we got? Well, it's clearly a Famiclone of sorts. It is Famiclone hardware. You just kind of recognise that resolution and colour set and stuff. But the games... Um... Are there 200? Don't know actually. Um, uh, ass, uh, 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 what? Okay. Ass art. Right, okay. Um, none of these are recognisable arcade games to my mind. These don't look like, they're not NES games. They're not Famicom games that I'm aware of. They're just... Um... Well, let's have a look. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, you do actually have to press the start button, or is it... Yes, we'll try to... Yeah. Uh, I have seen this before on, on another god-awful cheap piece of rubbish that I happen to own. Um... Yeah. So it is very obvious, you know, NES hardware. This is, 
Among the few games that I've played, this is actually the best. This is a game. Um, it's not an especially good game, <laughs> but it is a game. There's no, it, <clears throat> there's no score. Can you see a score? I can't see a score. It's just, you're flying in it. I mean, that's no F-22. Sorry, it just isn't. It might be an F-4 Phantom, but it's no F-22. No, it's not even that, is it? Is, is that an F-16 Fighting Falcon? Maybe. Hard to say. It's pink. So, um, that's something. I don't know what it is we're shooting at. But, you know, it is a game. It, it, you can tell what you're meant to do. Shoot everything that you can shoot at. Try not to die. And there are power-ups, so that's good. Um, come here. Yeah, see? I've played this before once. So I know that there are more power-ups. And it, 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 your plane gets quite impressively powered up after a time. But with no score... Well, I mean, I, I don't care too much about scores anyway, but, you know, you've you got to ask, what's the point? Well, you might. You might ask. You haven't got to. Here we go. More powerful, super-duper weaponry. Interesting choice of music. It kind of meanders. Yeah, OK. Well, you get the gist. Um, other games... Uh, we'll have a look. Vanguard, one player, okay. Alright. Oh yeah, this. So you've got a tank with a very short range weapon. You've got a little bar underneath your tank that tells you how much armor you've got left. Um... Meandering music again, which kind of makes me chuckle. And not in a good way. You've got two different... Well, both... You have different sized... Um, yeah, bullets. I don't know... I don't know what, what circumstances you would be required to use different ones. You see... My armour thingamajig is going down, indicator. I'm going to die any moment. And that will probably be, good, be a good thing. Interestingly, you can't go diagonally. Up, down, vertically or horizontally. No diagonal. That's... Sorry, that's just poor. Okay, let's, let's look at something else, because that's just... Racing Fighter. Okay. Oh my. Yeah. Okay. This is... Uh, gotta find... Whoops. Whoop, oh, bollocks. Finding the way to hold the thing to play this. It, oh dear. Tricky. Come on, go! It's like super fast, so you run into everything, or... Slow down really quick. No, no easy way to go. Just oh dear, yeah. But you know, on a technical level, they've got nice, fast, smooth scrolling, scrolling, whatever. Um, so that's something. Have we got a score? I don't know. There are numbers over there on the side. I don't care. Um, that's something then. Animal block. Mm. Aerial warfare crystal ball. Oh yes. Okay, we're going to have a look at police dog. How how are we going to pronounce that? I think they mean police dog lassie, but I read that as police dog lazy. Like the dog's just bloody lazy. It just can't be bothered. Um, a thing worth noting is that. The video cable that plugs in like a mini jack thing is pretty shite and if you move around much it will do what's happening here. But look at that, police dog lazy. It's serious looking beagle-esque lazy dog. So you've got to watch this here green dodgy geezer. 
and see that he's dropping stuff or hiding stuff and you've got to memorize where he's hidden it because that's what this game is it's a memory test where has he hidden his stash and you've got a timer which appears to have something to do with that bone and you've got to walk the dog around and remember where the dodgy geezer hid his stuff whoop de bloody do and find all the stuff before the timer runs out that's the game that is it there's nothing else to it uh, or you could press the button like I just did and I don't know what that achieved is it I don't know Ah, oh, we found money good dog well yeah so you walk around yeah you don't just walk around you walk around and push push the button and then he digs and you either find something or you don't dog found a gun yay dog can now go and rob bank whoop the bloody wolf And another one. Reservoir dog. But that was a diamond shop, wasn't it? And the music. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, he found a stick of dynamite with a timer on it. And... Okay. Time's up, more or less. Victory, really? Okay. Reset. Rabbit Village. Seaport. Go s s what? Police versus thief. Pong Pong. I bet that's not Pong. Let's have a look. Pong Pong is probably a stinky game. Come on now. Oh my god. I. What? What? What the? What? What's going on? I have no idea what's happening. I don't know it's not that. <sighs> God. Utmost warfare. Vigilant. If you were really vigilant, you wouldn't buy one of these. Um, can you tell what I think of it? Video poker, that might be alright. I don't. There's a really good game of poker on the Amiga actually called um, Great Cards or something. <laughs> yeah, um, Fish Wars, Britain v France. Um, go. Nah, I'm. 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 I'm not. Oh. Texas Hold Spades. Jump. Jump. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> uh, no, no, we're going to see what this ass art is. Is it like um, creating Jackson Pollock paintings while suffering diarrhea? Maybe. No, clearly not. That would probably be preferable. I don't know where the art is, but it is a... What? I mean, I would spell ass differently, but that. Okay. So, summing up this thing. Uh, retro Games Controller. There is something worth noting about this, because I, I've sat here and royally slagged it off. Totally. I don't find it entertaining. A small child might find it entertaining. Um, and when I say small, I mean maybe four years old or something. And here's the thing. When this thing came out, or when I first noticed them a year or so ago, they were selling for about £10. And I would say, don't waste your money. Take your kid to McDonald's or, or, or somewhere that sells healthy food or whatever. You know, but give them a vodka or something. Don't actually give them vodka. But, you know, give them anything else than this. Because tenner, for a tenner... Oh, look, it's got a light. Um, not worth it. But now, these are selling for $2.99 on eBay, brand new. And I actually saw one se selling second-hand, the person had the right idea, for a pound. 
So if you want something to torture your kids with that's going to be like really, really, really cheap, you know, if you, you want to be the uncle or, or aunt who gives their nephew sh <laughs> crap presents, <laughs> you can get one of these really dirt cheap. So it might be worth it. I mean, you would get more pleasure going to McDonald's and buying a burger or a, a something like that for the same kind of money. But for some things to torture your kids with or your nephews or whatever for very, li very little money, um, it serves a purpose. Just don't buy one for yourself unless you just... Uh, are there good uses for this that an adult could... I mean, it wouldn't make a good doorstop. It's not big enough to, like, throw at a window and break it, so you're not going to be committing burglaries with it. Um, it couldn't even do much of an injury if you threw it at someone, so it's not an offensive weapon. I think it's the whole choking hazard thing, actually. Naught to three sad onions. Danger, uh, small parts, not for children, under three. Choking hazard. If you want to choke small children for two ninety nine, uh, this would probably do it. I'm not condoning choking small children. But I can't think of... Uh, you know... It's rubbish. <laughs> I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching. So... Is he starting some kind of cookery show? It says something here about having pastry on. Pies? I like pies. <laughs>